Joining me now is Washington Capitals prospect Ryan Holfer. Everett Silver tips forward is selected in the 2022 NHL draft. First of all, Ryan, congratulations on hearing your name called and having your name called uh, here at the 2022 NHL draft. Uh, first of all, let me take me through the moment when you found out you were a prospect of the Capitals. Yeah, it was obviously super exciting. I was just watching in the living room with my family and uh, to see to see my name up on the TV with the people that really got me there um, is super special and something I'll never forget. Tell you what, Ryan, as, as an older player in the WHL, you know, you're, you're a 19 year old player this past year. How much more gratifying is it to know that, you know, your, your hard work has paid off here in terms of getting recognized and, and now getting an opportunity in the Capitals organization? Yeah, it's a goal of mine to be drafted. And thankfully I got that opportunity, but, it all started, I guess, years ago, really, when I started to take it seriously and always work. And throughout the years, it's compounded. And to see it pay off is really good. But uh, I'll see a lot of work in front of me. Tell you what, been a busy month for you, too, hasn't it? I mean, you, you were drafted, you development camp now in the rearview mirror. Take me through your kind of initial few, first few weeks here as a member of the Capitals organization and, and what it's been like to kind of be welcomed into the fold with them. Yeah, very welcome. They're they're all very professional. They're they're nice. Um, I, I felt like felt like one of them coming into it right away. So the the week down in development camp was really awesome. It was informational. Learned a lot, and I'm excited to to see what will happen next. Some U.S. division flavor in that development camp too, wasn't there? With uh, you know the likes of Bear Hughes and and Henrik Rybinski, guys that you've kind of battled against uh, over the past couple of years with the Silver Tips. Did you kind of, you know, in talking to some of those guys, have you kind of maybe learned a little bit more about them other than what you've seen on the ice? I did. Yeah, I talked talked to both of them. They're obviously really nice guys. They they work hard just like myself. So it's kind of cool to see other people like that that are they they earn to be there right so being able to talk to them and kind of see what it's like on other teams as well it's cool to kind of just pick their brain about that stuff but it's refreshing to know some some people going into it tell you what the 21 22 silver tips uh, had no shortage of talent offensively uh, yourself included 25 goals during the regular season and kind of your first kind of full taste of of a full season of WHL action. When you look back on your season in Everett, Ryan, what were, what were some of the things, who were some of the people that you think kind of helped you along the way and, and, and helped you kind of have the year that you had leading into the draft? Definitely a big, big part of it goes to the coaches for sure. And obviously my teammates right there. We have a great group of guys there. Um, everyone, everyone's super tight. They're all trying to help each other. They, they work hard to push each other. And the coach is to really, not really just be a coach, but more of someone to talk to in a sense, or if, if you're struggling or you need to work on something, they're definitely, they're, they're there to talk to you about it. And I think that's really good in terms of developing. And that's what you need. You need, you need good people around you to help you do that. So that's definitely what we have in Everett. Tell you what, it was a, a fun little sixth round for the Silver Tips organization too, as well, because yourself and and Ben Hemmerling were taking what three, four picks from each other. Uh, you know, how cool was it to kind of share that experience with him? Super cool. Uh, he, he's obviously a good buddy of mine, and for us to be kind of that close, I guess he's got a little bit of bragging rights going four four picks earlier, but. It's super cool. He deserves every every second of it, so it's good. Tell you what, uh, as you kind of look ahead, uh, maybe you know, still a couple of years down the road, potentially. Who knows, right? Depending on on how your summer goes, how the fall goes. But have you paid any consideration to the prospect of playing against your brother in professional hockey? Uh, that's a that's a big goal of mine. I really want to um, hit him being there already. I got to catch up and. I do that by kind of seeing how he got there, right? It's really refreshing to, to have someone that close to me being in that position. So I get to see what it takes and what it's like. So definitely to play against them or even with them, maybe. Um, that, that'd be definitely very cool. Have you ever had the chance to play with them? I get the feeling that the age difference is just a little bit too big. 
I haven't, no. When I was younger, obviously, playing peewee or even younger than that. But, um, yeah, we never never really played with each other. Last one for you, Ryan. As you look ahead to the summer, as we speak, it's late July and we're kind of a month or so out from the start of training camps. Uh, what are some of the things that you're kind of working on, focusing on in your off-season training as you look ahead to your first NHL training camp in the fall? stuff to fit into my role um I, I know what player i am i know what i need so really gotta get stronger faster and be able to compete with the men that are in the nhl right so i just i'm on the nose grind and really figuring out what it takes to get stronger and really doing everything with a purpose